Good morning everyone. This morning we've made a video illustrating how to calmly teach a dog what do you expect of him or her on the lead so that you don't get pulled out of control down the street. As you'll see the key is in what happens way before you actually get outside. So I like them to come to me um, so that I don't have to go chasing them around to put the collar on. So he did come, but I wonder whether he was expecting something a bit more exciting than the collar. So I'll just try again. Lula! <laughs> Chili knows the score. She knows that if collars don't go on nicely, we don't go for a walk. So what happened yesterday was uh, a similar thing. Ludo didn't come to his collar. So Chili and I went out for a walk without him. Ludo, come. And I don't know if you can see him. Oh yeah, here he comes. Come on, sweetie. We got this on. Slowing down, coming, giving the benefit of the doubt. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Thank you. So yesterday was a nice lesson for you, obviously. Good. Okay. Stage one complete. Okay, so phase two is uh, getting to the front door without Ludo charging ahead front door is there so we've got a corridor to walk down and we can also use the rest of the kitchen we've got a kitchen island handily we can walk around um, and all I'm looking for is uh, Ludo just taking a bit of notice of me as the one that's making the decisions in terms of direction and pace I'm gonna go and put this camera at the end of the corridor so you can see is approaching okay let's see how this goes looking at me but still ahead so I'm going to insist all right not too bad so the next stage is getting out the front door quite a lot of door wafting already and so Ludo is already recognising that if he goes forwards before I do and the door closes. <laughs> so cutie, he does back off but he always just needs at the moment a little bit of a reminder. So every time he backs off the door opens, if he goes forward too early I close the door. Very good, nice and calm and out of the door. So we can continue. Okay, next step is the front path and the garden gate. 
I'm going to do exactly the same. It closes if he goes too early. He's really loathing, bless him. There we go. He just has to wait for me to move through first. And we're off. And then we're on the pavement together. A little bit of pulling ahead, so I'm going to turn around. So at the end of our path here is quite a busy road. Oh, pulling ahead. He quite often wants to go to the busy spot because it's all exciting. So I'm just going to turn around, walk the other way. And again, the moment he pulls, we walk around and I'm going to go back that other way again. Sorry if this is making you dizzy. This is already way better than yesterday. Oh, bit of litter, bit of exciting. <laughs> this is already way better. A little bit of scooching around me. So we'll just catch that. Do a little bit of a circle. There we go. You can see I've got no tension in the line. For security, it's wrapped around my wrist, but I'm not hanging onto it. Everything's really nice and relaxed. This is already way better than yesterday. This is lovely. Got oh, a little bit of a trot forwards. Walking round. Good, I like that he looks at me. Oh, I'm not really giving him eye contact at this point because it's already exciting outside. So I'm just using the stop start change direction protocol to get him to relax and take more notice of me. Everybody's driveways, that's fair enough. So we're not always going in the same direction. And he's pulling, so we'll go this way a little bit. Not quite with me yet. Down the tree. And carry on. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay, so we're back in after a nice, controlled, enjoyable walk. Um, but obviously, there's another dog. <laughs> so, um, if I felt I needed to, I would do the same with Chili. She's pretty calm this morning. She's a lot older. She knows the score a little bit more. So, the next step is to take both of them. Uh, I'll do my best to video some stuff, but I'll have both hands on a lead. Um, so, it might be a stupid idea. We'll see. <laughs> see what I can do. Okay. Both dogs on leads, there's one, there's the other, and untangle myself and get out the door. So, young dog, just checking again, do I lead today? On this one, do I lead? And the reply is, no little fella, you never do. <laughs> okay, out we go. Close the door. Try not to drop the phone. And thing is, if one of the dogs appears in the screen a little bit further forward than I'd like, and so I turn around. 
stop. Change direction. Start again. Okay. I'm going to take the old softy stick because it's a bit boring, isn't it? There's that one. There's that one. There's the path ahead. I'm lucky this morning, there's not too many distractions. It's usually the problem with London streets is that just when you are looking for a bit of peace and quiet to teach the dogs, there's some crazy event that happens, whether it's human or animal. Good girl, chilly girl. Be a good girl. Very nice. 